Hello everyone, Zenozimi here, and welcome more. Welcome to Let's Play. More Let's Play Limits Adventure X. Last time, we found out Blade wasn't a man. This time, we're going after the butterfly effect and the AI Demersal. Warning though, from this point on, there will be spoilers for Gunvolt 1 and 2. If you haven't played either of those games, or haven't seen a let's play of them if you don't want to buy them, I recommend you do. You don't need to, but if you want to, and have things make sense, go play them. Engage! Go. I can feel it in my circus. The butterfly effect's near. And if we dash, we see Rebellio's here. Hey, haven't we seen this guy before? He's like a mindless puppet. Still getting vital signs, so he must be the real thing. He must be simply sent to my work. Either that or simply tech. It doesn't matter. We won't let anything get in our way now. Let's go! Thanks for making it easy, Rebellion. Oh, come on. Gonna use Rising Cyclone. Because that weapon is better than Rebellion. <laughs> I don't know who thought it was a good idea to make Rebellios power her weakness. Opposite edge. Goodbye.
Now let's break this open. Switch to Stellar Spark. You finally found it. The butterfly effect. Yeah. No. It's Myrtle. My only sister. My sentiment. She can sense her conscious. Even for her body, I can feel it. She's crying. Septima, the original source of my powers. I took Myrtle's living human brain and put it in this machine. It's not just too much. I'll never let those Sumeragi bastards get away with this. I'll ease your pain. Please, kill me. We'll do just that, Myrtle. We face Myrtle's living brain. The only boss weak to Stella Spark. If you can notice, she's using the power of Lumen and Jewel. Characters from the first game. And her power being the, the, the Muse is also a spoiler from the second game. <laughs> Hence why I said, if you want to not be spoiled for those games, make sure that you know about, you've played or seen us. I've suffered for so long. At least it was me who could give you peace. You can rest now, Mercil. Thank you. Mission clear. If I let the fight go on, she would have used Amphit and fully healed. If you also notice, she doesn't attempt to attack you directly for most part. A nice slow gameplay and uh, story integration. But we've got to keep going for the AI. Demerzel. Demerzel's behind everything here. It may just be a supervisor AI club. By my hand, I will destroy him. Let's go. And they're probably back for more. Get out of here. I have no time for this. Now we can see what is this also the easy part to deal with. <laughs> hmm. 
Torn apart. You can probably tell who's the last one. Orbital edge. edge. Never using that again. Asimov, what are you doing here? You fought this Asimov, Asimov guy ages ago, didn't you? He was a lightning adept who headed a terrorist organization, but post Miragi. I haven't heard a word about him since then. I had no idea he was even still alive. You could say I said the same. I could say the same. Imagine my surprise when I learned you were still around. Since you come so far, I'll let you in on a little secret. Consider a word of source. You know Sumeragi's supervisor AI. Damn myself, right? <laughs> That's me. You? An AI? The AI thing was all hacked. For the sake of convenience, you see. Didn't old Sumeragi say the same thing about the muse? So that's why. Samuragi made it seem like they suddenly wrecked out of the Minos. On this new turn on the ball, was still in the center of the big fair game. Full of Samuragi under my control. The world's family is closer to my ideal. But it took far too long. This peace was supposed to come on the day I was forced to kill our king. Queen. I had to wait and nurture a brand new lightning adept and muse take their place, you see. You mean Blade and Myrtle? You bastard! They're human beings, not some damn tools! There's no point in hashing foods out with you at this stage. We're not capable of seeing I, Tom. So there's one thing left to do between Superhuman and powerless. Or should I say, the adept against Mino. That's how things are. It is, it is, it, that's how things are these days, is it not? Let's put it all on the line. This is our war by proxy. Asimov returns as the final boss from Gunvolt 1, and he has it. Really let up. Shroud Spear is his weakness. And he's now brought his Eater Rifle. Something we only heard about in the first game, I believe. 
Even though I was on the drama, I don't remember. All I remember is it was only mentioned. Never seen. He hasn't even used this other move. There we go. He's using his own blaster, his own rifle, his own pistol. Van Kulpins. Of course, he's coming up with Gunvolt signature move. Voltic Change. However, if we do this now, Twin Shredder. We shred it apart. Not only do we get it, we do basically come off fine. But it's not over. If it was, it's like he was a hologram of mass. Just like those other of like depths. Worthless struggling. Cannot surpass my illusions. Gah! Copin! I'm fine. Damn it all, my camera eye. Oh? What's this? You are a cyborg too? How much time do you think it has passed since we first met? It's been over a hundred years. There's no way a normal human would still be alive. Anyone would realize that just by thinking about it, but you. Now I see. After all these years, your electronic brain is starting to malfunction. It's the sanity you create is all thanks to that. Bark all you like. That for the human form proves your stubborn adherence to the old age. Gaze upon me. See his true form. I have achieved pure, ele el a pure electronic form. This is the ultimate achievement of an adept with command of electricity. I will protect all adepts myself as Demersal. Oversurge, Azure Striker. My blue lightning shout bring purity, cleanse the world of all relics of the old age. Kind of purity kind of monster like you hope to achieve. You have no place in our world. Now we find the biggest twist. That this comes from the band ending of Gunful and that Kuken Cyborg. Photon detonator is the one weapon we need. <laughs> oh my god. And we can't stop this attack. Just gotta avoid it. <laughs> I like the sprite change though, and I kind of wish we could keep it. I'm severely damaged. But we need to do this. Also, nice art change that they actually committed to making. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Come on. There we go. Level up. Here. 
What? Kill bed! There is a bonus boss version of this which is stronger, but I'm not gonna show that, sorry. Come on, stay with me, boss! I know, I'll use my Muse power. Nothing. It's not. Working? But why? You too shall vanish! <laughs> ah! Go. Coping! Damn it! I took some heavy damage! Activate auto meetings and emergency mode! I have no choice. I must sleep until I recover. Someone, someone, please save Copen. My, my song is. At the moment, above ground. Wait, the song. What's the matter, Kahaku? I hear music. The song. Lola! Song? I don't hear nothing. But it's true, I definitely hear- Still her! Song must have happened to Coben! I gotta make sure he's safe! Wait! Kohaku! Wait here, everyone! And! What's that? That is Luminous Avenger X! There is a post credits thing, but I'll be putting my thoughts here. This was a nice little quick project to throw out. Do I plan to do the second game? Yes. I, I like doing small projects after doing long projects. And I think this was a nice. It kept me fresh. But, this game does have some problems, especially DLC wise, I think DLC Blade is fun, it's tedious and annoying, plus the thing with Berserk Trigger is really annoying. Hell, they even have a gimmick like this for the DLC, for DLC boss in 2, but it's not as annoying. So they fixed. So they knew, but it was quite bad. Great. In two, because there's actually dialogue for the boss fights, and plus one of the fights is actually, ah, uh, weirdly enough, got some lore. Granted, I won't be doing X2 for a long while because that boss spoils another game. A whole series, actually. So, yeah, we will be actually getting to do another series. And another series that will be short, that will probably be another in between. Uh, I guess another thing I can say is that if you guys, if some of you, if any of you like Mega Man games or don't like, or don't like Mega Man games, don't be afraid to try Gumball and Limits Adventure X. While they do take the Mega Man formula, they make it their own. And it's honestly 
more cool. Plus, it's much faster and you can quickly get through the game. How? If you realize, this series is only six episodes. It's to the point where... I, if I wanted, I could probably have done the extra bosses, but I don't. I want this to be a quick... Over and done. I guess I can quickly talk about what the bonus bonuses after being a game are. Uh, it's rematches with bosses that don't have weaknesses. The boss rush, which has the boss fight against uh, Reborn Demerzel, which has unique dialogue, but it's not too different. So. What will come in next? I might as well hit at it. The series we're going I'm going to do next is a quest of sorts. A quest that is very old and started the GRPG genre of turn-based combat. A series well known in Japan and well liked there, but not anywhere else until its newest release. If you can figure out which game series it is, then I'll say it's the tenth of the main series to come out. But not tenth. That's not the tenth. Figure it out? Good on you. If you can't, don't worry. <laughs> so far down. I can't even hear blow that anymore. I really hope she's okay. Huh? Who are you, these guys? Is it from Sumeragi? I'm not giving up. No way in hell can I, can I can give up now. Copen saved each and every one of us countless times. Now it's my dream to pull up all the stops. Get out of my way! They're making time go Huh? Is that useless? Leave this to me. You have to find X. Why? What happened to him? Why do you look like that? Explain everything and apologize as much as you want later. Now go! You're running out of time. I don't say you have no idea what's going on anymore. Follow it. I'm going! Thanks. Now run! Kohaku! Right! She's gone. It's just you and me now. Demerzel! You used me as your pawn and tormented my comrades. And now you will pay for your sins. Pit! Copen! It's okay, Copen. You can take it easy now. It felt so hard for us, so please. Leave the rest of me. Kohaku. You're right. I promise I'll fix it here. I'm borrowing your gun for now. Okay. So this is Maragi's supervisory computer. Demerzel. It's the cause of everyone's suffering. We lost so much because of it. I will put a stop to it. 
take this! Don't worry about those guys. She'll be fine. I'm sure. Kawaka said wait here, didn't she? I'm sure she'll be back soon. Hmm? Hey, look! Over there! What? Kawaku! Hey, everyone! We're home! This is Zeno Signing out.